Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In our last video we finished the repairs to the engine bay cover, including glass fibre repairs to the damage areas, followed by fairing and sanding ready for a new layer of gel coat. We took the repaired cover over to mount fiberglass and at the same time collected the two halves of our new anchor locker hatch which had just been freshly moulded. We then left the parts for a few days to fully cure and we can now carry on where we left off last time. All right, so we've left these for a few days and this has set up nicely now so we can now release this part from the mould. So what we'll do is we'll just find an exposed edge along here somewhere and we'll get our plastic wedges, drive that underneath and that should just pop off. You can see here that there's the blue PVA that they've applied so that should hopefully help that release. Uh, the top part is also nicely set up now and you can see here it's a really nice quality part. They've actually uh, sanded this ready to for the two parts to be joined together, but really nice layup you see on the edges here. Really good quality. I'm really happy with the, the job that they do over at Melton Fiberglass and, and very reasonably priced as well, really. Um, these two parts, um, 80 pounds, I think he charged us. Uh, what's that? Probably $90, $100, something like that. So very reasonable and, and an excellent job as well. Um, so what we'll also need to do is we need to get this blue PVAF as well. So we'll be washing that off. We can get our part released and then what we'll need to do is just come round and trim that so that that will sit inside here. So that released really easily, came straight out, popped straight off. Um, as you can see, blue PVA, so that will just wash off fine. And we've also got the plasticine that we used on the corners. So Richard is just gonna come in now and just scrape these off, get this all cleaned up and trimmed. <laughs> Okay, so after a lot of cutting and sanding, we've managed to get this piece or part inside the anchor locker cover. So this is the top, this is the underside, and then this recess here, there's actually a lip on the boat, and the lip actually goes into that recess, and then we'll have a rubber gasket uh, or seal that will go around here, and that'll actually seal that anchor locker never actually made two parts before that actually fit inside each other so this is the first time so really happy with the results uh, what we need to do now is just give this a quick flat uh, with probably some 600 grit and then we're just going to give it a quick polish just to clean it up and uh, we've actually also had a slight change of plan because originally i'd cut two pieces of nine millimeter ply but actually it turns out we only need one so one just to sit inside here two actually would make this recess 
uh, not deep enough and it'd actually catch so reduce down to one piece of nine millimeter and this will be plenty strong enough as well we've got five millimeters of lay up here about four millimeters are here and then the ply in between that's going to be nice and strong that was just my mistake I'd actually not measured it correctly but we can rectify that so that's all fine we've also got our little recesses here so these are for actually for the hinges so there'll be some bolts that sit in here and that's just again just to make sure that that doesn't interfere with the lip on the boat and make sure that we keep this recess <laughs> So this is looking great. We just used some 320 grit and um, then came through the grit. So we used 600, 800, 1000 and 1500 and then just hit it with a rotary polisher with the fast cut and it really does look nice. Really pleased with the way that's turned out. And obviously this is the underside again. Top side looks just as good, uh, if not better. So what we're gonna do now is the plies in there. We've got our nine mil ply. And what we're actually gonna do now is pass this back to Melton Fiberglass and they're gonna bond this for us. We've never bonded two pieces together before. I'm sure we could do it, but Paul's offered to do it for us. And you know what? Rather than wrecking the part, we're gonna let him do it. So we'll drop this over to Melton Fiberglass next week and then we'll get that back in a week's time. And then what we'll have to do is just flow coat all these edges and that anchor locker is finished. Okay, this morning we are working on our anchor chain locker cover again. So this is all ready to go to melt and fiberglass. We've just got some plywood inside here. And what we're going to do is coat that with some resin and um, get that all coated up, let that go off and then we can drop that over to melt and fiberglass. <laughs> Okay, so we've given that two coats of polyester resin. I'm just gonna wait for that to set up now. So next job is we're just gonna move on to the back of the transom here. And where the stern drives fit, I'll just show you a little bit closer. So where the stern drives fit here, um, when we had the engine moldings done, the guys um, coated this in like a Dambeline uh, type paint I think it was however you can see here look it's cracking and coming off so what we're going to do is sand all of this now we're hoping that this transom is nice and dry I'm praying it's nice and dry it looks good the bits that we've seen there looks to be no problem with it but you can see here this paint is cracking and splitting so we're in the depths of summer now so what we're thinking is Let's get all this cleaned off. If there is any moisture that needs to come out, now's the time to dry it, because we can leave this open for several months and it will never get any rain on it or any moisture and it's nice and warm, so it will dry out. Hopefully that's not the case, but we'll put the moisture meter on it to double check. Uh, and then once we're completely happy that this is 100% dry, we'll epoxy coat this um, and then hopefully that will stand the test of time. So what we'll do is get the sanders out and get all of this 
inside on both sides sanded. Okay, so Richard came in with the flat disc with 120 grit and that's made light work of this. That looks lovely and smooth and more importantly nice and dry. Um, we were a little bit concerned that over the years there has been some water sat in here um, because there's no bilge pumps it's not been pumped away so yeah we're a little bit concerned about this transom but actually it looks great. We will put the moisture meter on it just to double check it but yeah, overall condition of this looks really, really nice. And same deal over this side as well. I mean, if we were gonna get any rot or anything, it would have probably been down here. But as you can see, it's, it's lovely and light and uh, it's also solid as well. So but what we're gonna do is probably leave this for a couple of weeks just to make sure, as I said before, it's 100% dry and then we coat this in epoxy and that should last many, many years but what we're going to do now is just nip over to mountain fiberglass because we've got our anchor locker chain cover to bond <music> Quick preview of the engine cover. So this is a, as it's come out the mold. You can see here you've got the excess tissue and layup. So what uh, Paul's gonna do is run it through the cutter here and he'll cut this off. And then he's gonna DA inside here or sand in here. And then this is gonna get spray gel coated uh, or flow coated. So that will give us a nice waterproof finish. So we'll probably get that back hopefully next week. Alrighty, so we're back at the workshop. We dropped off our anchor locker cover and we've brought back the engine cover. Now, unfortunately, um, they've had a little bit of problem spraying um, this part. The gel coat that we supplied was just too thick. It wouldn't come out of the gun. So we're gonna order some different gel coat. There's a sprayable version of the same color. So our mistake really. So uh, we're gonna get that ordered, but it does unfortunately mean that we just need to take this top layer off again so we need, do need to give this a quick sand but that's fine i think with 120 grit in the da's we'll soon be able to get this back to a decent finish
Okay, so uh, Richard has just masked off our holes in the transom for the stern drives. What we do need to do is just come in with some acetone and just get this all cleaned up on the inside and then we can epoxy those. We haven't started the epoxying yet because we knew we've got some grinding to do. So Richard's ground out the top of the transom here and also on this um, piece of ply here. And basically there should be another piece of ply here that acts as a brace. And that basically braces the uh, swimming bathing platform onto the top of the transom, presumably just to stop that flexing. So Richard's took it, taken a profile and he's just gonna cut a template for that. And while he's been doing that, I've just dug out all of the rotten balsa. We've got some rotten balsa in here. This is actually the pickup point for the engine bay cover. So it needs to be nice and strong and we've got a little bit of flex. So off camera, I've just taken all that balsa out and that's all prepped, ready to go. And in fact, in here in this bucket, you can see this was all the rotten balsa that was in there. So that definitely needed to be dug out. And what we're gonna do now is we'll leave that for a few days just to make sure that's fully dry. And then we'll be able to come in with some more balsa and glass all that back in and that will be a nice repair. Okay, so we've just got back from Melton Fiberglass and we've picked up our anchor locker cover. So uh, Paul has bonded the two pieces together. So this is looking great. We've got a little bit of residue on the outside here. So we're just gonna clean that off now with some acetone and then that part is ready. So we'll just put that on the shelves over here. And when we're ready, that is ready to install. And same deal here also with the engine hatch as well. So again, turned out really great. We've got a matte finish on this because remember that this is going to be teaked anyway. There's going to be teak on here. So not to worry about a high gloss finish. And he's also flow coated it underneath for us. So again, we'll pop that on the shelf when we're ready. That will be ready to install. And then in the van, we also have the engine cover. So this is actually the, the bigger cover that the hatch sits within. Um, and this has been sprayed. Now this has got a little bit of orange peel on here. So we're gonna have to uh, hit that with the DA, probably like a 320, 400, and then we'll get that all polished up. I'm actually gonna leave it on the van and if I get a chance over the weekend, I will give that a quick DA. So what we'll do now is just get this engine hatch cleaned up real quick and then we'll get those on the shelves. Okay, so we've just given that a quick clean up and that looks a lot better now. We'll give it a final polish at the end when we come to fit it, but for now, that's absolutely fine. We'll put that in storage, keep it nice and safe. Alrighty, so we've cut our new transom brace. So this is two sheets of 18 mil plywood bonded together. And then we've just coated this in polyester resin. This piece of scrap wood here is just temporary just to hold it in place while we glass it. And then we've coated it in polyester resin as well. So what we'll do now is we'll put some thickened polyester resin across the top 
and down here and then we'll get that all glassed into place and Richard has also ground away all of this white stuff whatever that is and sanded it as well and then wiped it with us soon so that's all nice and clean and ready to get glassed into place So our transom brace is all now glassed in. That took four layers of 600 gram chopped strand mat. So that should be nice and strong. And we've wrapped all the way around that ply as well. So that's fully encapsulated. Come down here onto the transom. Yep, so we'll leave that to set up. We've also used some spare resin. Rich has just coated the inside of the um, stern drive holes there. So that's just to protect that ply. Uh, in the transom there from any moisture we put the moisture meter on those and they are nice and dry fortunately we've had some really warm weather the last month or so in the UK so ideal time to get those coated and protected and then we've also cut some balsa to go up here where we've cut out that uh, rotten balsa core it was down to about here and then beyond there it's dry so we've cut these two new pieces of balsa to go in there and then we've just got the stand here the prop just mocking it all up dry so that we're ready to go so we'll mix up some thickened polyester now we'll get that stuck into place and then we'll be able to glass over the top Okay, that's going to be a wrap for today's video guys hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one